Some major announcements from Mayor-elect Sherelle Parker, including who will help in the transition to become the city's 100th mayor. She also weighed in on one of the first major decisions she will face after taking office in January. CBS Philadelphia's Carrie Carrado was following the story for us tonight. It's been two days since Sherelle Parker made history. She says the lift of this transition will be heavy, but she says she has the right team to do it. Our friend, our quarterback, and our leader for the next four years, Mayor elect Sherelle L. Parker. Mayor elect Sherelle Parker making history on Tuesday as the first woman and first black woman as mayor of Philadelphia. We are going to live up to our promise and the transition's mission. And you've heard it over and over again. And we are intentional when we talk about safest, cleanest, and greenest big city in America. Safer, cleaner, and greener. It's those three words that have echoed from Sherelle Parker's campaign. Now that the vote is in, she is talking about the moves she will make as 100th mayor. On the table, the future new Sixers arena. Which would be built near Chinatown. The community matters there, but that is the community citywide. You can't have a project with that potential as it relates to an economic impact and not hear the voices from people in our city across our city. Mayor elect Parker says the new police commissioner will be her first personnel announcement before Thanksgiving. The job is currently held by interim police commissioner John Stanford. We are working through a process. We are talking to both local and national candidates. Um, the next commissioner we have said needs to have, have my trust and my support as mayor. And when it comes to gun violence, she's taking a comprehensive approach. We are going to need to put to work every department in the city of Philadelphia to help us come up with a holistic strategy to reduce crime because the police department alone will not be able to do it. As she tries to fix and heal the city's problems, she says it's not about looking into the past and pointing fingers. This process is to uh, set the foundation for how we want to bring hope back to our city and we begin that today. As for what's next, she says her transition team is working around the clock to bring together the best and brightest in city government to help align with her promises on the campaign trail. Kerry Corrado, CBS News, Philadelphia.